If you're new here, I'm Brett. I'm a psychic medium and I like to film my interactions with the other side. I've been doing this mostly on my really long motorcycle trips. I go out solo and I ride around the country checking out interesting spots and talking to spirits. I like to demonstrate what I'm doing, what I'm feeling, and all of the little parts of it kind of give you the behind the scenes part of what it's like to be a medium, what it's like to be a psychic. All right, I gotta take this off. This, this is super distracting. And I think what I'm picking up from my guides is actually really interesting and compelling. So I'll stop. I like to do these check-ins before I go. In previous years, like in 2019, they told me to stop what I was doing and go on my ride because this is the last time I'm going to get to do my ride. I didn't know what they meant. COVID hit and everything was locked down. So I guess I need to actually um, check in. Normally I will be asking questions in my head, but if I'm doing this for camera, I try to ask out loud. Is there anything I need to be aware of for my trip? Kind of like, nope, you're all set. And I question that. Does that sound like my guides? Does that sound like somebody? Where am I going? Like where, how far will I go? I'm getting Texas, I'm seeing Roswell. Is there anything unexpected that's gonna happen on your trip? Somebody keeps going, nope, all set. Sometimes you aren't supposed to know what's coming up, what's gonna happen because we're here to live this life, have this experience, go through these trials and tribulations. And I'm hoping that's not why I'm getting this really vague answer. Anytime I start to ask a question, I'm asking about the bike. How's the bike gonna go? Everybody's like, oh, it's cool, it's fine. This one voice I'm hearing is not giving me information. So, I mean, well, I keep getting hints. I'm not getting real clear answers with that. Nobody's answering me. Nobody is giving me information. I've been refilming this part, trying to get it right, and I've already asked my questions. For the most part, they aren't answering, and I think a lot of that is they don't really want to give me any spoilers. Along with my psychic impressions, I get EVPs, or electronic voice phenomena. These are sounds or voices picked up on audio that are usually not audible when recording. I discover the EVPs while editing, and because they're so faint and hard to hear, I write what's being said as text on the screen. If you want a better chance of hearing them, I suggest you wear headphones. Okay, on to my first stop, the infamous Clown Motel. Room 109. All right, thank you. Here are a couple of loud EVPs from the Clown Motel. Tell me in the comments what you think it says. Okay, so this is the first night of my road trip and I made it all the way to Tonopah to the Clown Motel. This place is famous from all sorts of ghost shows. Everybody has come here because it's so odd and because most people don't like clowns. I feel like I'm gonna have to digress why would a hotel that just has clowns in it end up drawing ghost adventures and shows like that? Well, I started to say that most people don't like clowns. And I got a sense that somebody doesn't like me saying that. So we might have the original owner or original, like the founder of the place. Feeling, feeling something with my hand. 
my fan hand feels cold and it feels heavy and it feels bigger than it is. And I feel like somebody just pulled on the, the stick, the camera stick, and I just saw a white, a white haze go past between this camera and me. Now, how all of this stuff is working is, yeah, I'm psychic, I'm a medium, but it's paying attention to these very subtle cues. So as you're getting into this stuff, it's really about being hyper aware of what's going on around you, of things catching your attention, of feelings on your skin, of emotions coming up, of uh, physical feelings, of little things you hear, things that pop into your head. That's what all of this is about. You pay attention to it and then you really, you really have to try to trust it. Trust is the other part of it. And then how do you know that it's not you just making it up? I feel like I saw somebody move through over there on the other side of this camera. It's a little bit of a chill. It's a cold feeling. I keep feeling something on this arm. It feels like uh, something is touching the hair on this arm. Not quite the walking through spider webs. Not quite like brushing my arm, but it feels like it, they're touching the hair on this arm. Seems like a older man, uh, seems like a farmer. I feel like it's the founder of this place, is that correct? feel like there are mixed m emotions because it's turning into like a horror thing and that's not really what he intended or how he feels. I feel like the founder guy, I feel like he comes around. Yeah. He visits, right? Can I put you on camera or? Yeah, sure. Why is that, that's okay? But yeah, I was getting, uh, I was getting that he was, he's kind of disappointed that clowns are not Clowns don't necessarily make people happy, and the thing that's drawing people is it's scary. Yeah. In the beginning, maybe he say, "Hey, what's going on?" It's supposed to be happy, happy. Yeah. Then it turn over, you know, the happy, and also some people bring like a paranormal or so and so. Uh, one thing that happens is I will listen to the audio, and I will hear your voices, and I'll hear responses. I think I've been given permission from the higher ups for the audio, at least audio and communicating with you. Do I have permission to do this? I'm telling them, ask Kevin. Saw movement in the mirror right there. You guys know what I think of mirrors, right? Portals. I'm not sure if it's mirror or glass or reflective surface. Like, I don't know if the TV will do it, you know? But I've heard them use windows as portals. I'm feeling something on my thumb. It's like somebody taking my thumb and going down it like this. Saw something over there again. Something over by the table. And 
and I feel like somebody's pointing out that I am standing like that right now. Yeah, I have one foot, one foot up, hand kind of up. Are you suggesting I'm a clown? I think I saw that. I don't know if I mentioned it in my notes or something, but a few days ago, I saw that marionette, the skeleton clown marionette. So that's a trip. Wow. 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 Cool. I told Crystal about it. Wondering if I put it in my notes. Okay, so I'm trying to go to sleep and I'm hearing a bunch of voices, lots of childlike voices, very small. I'm hearing them from all over and it's, it's like the hypnagogic state kind of situation. They're like coming through loud and clear. And there's so many, it's not like I'm gonna connect with them right now. There's like a time and a place <laughs> for when I do this. And part of it is they're using the white noise of the air conditioner, but I'm not just hearing them coming from over there. I'm hearing them all around. They're coming in psychically and objectively. So subjective is hearing voices in my head, seeing images in my head, like seeing a memory, And objective is when I see something zip past the camera. Seeing a figure, you know, in the room or hearing a figure. Hearing a figure. Yeah. Okay, good night. That's it. Good night, everybody. Thank you for... Uh trying to communicate, but right now I'm just tired. I'm not going to be communicating. Good night.